dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 6th of March, Holy Mother the Church calls us to the memory of Saint Colette. Saint Colette's mother was 60 years old when Saint Colette was born. When she was still 11 years old, she showed signs of faith, signs of religious leaning as she would secretly go into the Benedictine Abbey and pray with the nuns there. Orphaned at the age of 17, she tried the quasi-cloistered life of Beguin. Then in search of greater austerity, she worked as a servant for poor clerics and Benedictines. Finally, on her director's advice, giving away all she had, she became a Franciscan tertiary and walled herself up in the cloistered monastery of the Our Lady at Corby. Here began her celestial visions, her voices and visitations, during which it was revealed to her that she should restore the primitive austere spirit in the Franciscan order a task for which she felt herself entirely unfitted. God's will seemed to become unmistakably clear, however, when a saintly priest and a noble woman from the far off Savoy, complete strangers, sought her out in response to divine inspiration, and Pope Benedict XIII made her abbess over the poor clares with full authority to establish reforms in all the convents. The nuns are discalced strictly cloistered, maintain continuous fast and abstinence, and possess no property, not even in common. Saint Vincent Ferrer gave her his processional cross as a sign of his esteem. Like Saint Francis, she was also a lover of animals. Taking critically ill while visiting her convents in Ghent, Belgium, she breathed her last on 6th March 1447 and was canonized in 1807. So dear brothers and sisters, Saint Colette, her mother was old, 60 years old when she was born. and She died when she was 77, that means at 17 she became an orphan. But she kept her faith, she did not go wandering into the world but she went yearning towards God and the Lord took care of her. She not only surrendered her life to the Lord but helped so many others to live in the Lord. So we pray like Saint Colette we may also give our life to the Lord. She lived 600 years ago around 1381 to 1447 but her example, her model is still relevant to us today. So we pray that if they could, why can't I? Amen.